Jenny Mahoney by Matt Dennison. There's a bird spine in my tongue, dear. You should know this. Bristling from root to tip. I think it wants to fly or sing, but it hurts me with its thrusting. Or maybe it's an eel spine, flat on the cutting board, flapping its ribs in the Protestant squeaks of my dead mother's tongue. You can't hear it, but it deafens me. Either way, a horse pulled a rock from the Widow Murphy's farm yesterday. Did you hear? No? Of course. All the men helped. The sweat of themselves are running like tadpoles over sun rocks, pushing pushing so hard. I imagine they died in a mountain of themselves afterward and were glad for it. I know I would have. What would you like for breakfast, McCree? Slam whiskey. I'll pour, but don't watch. They've been slurred, these piano hands, now old woman graspy hands. Not one muscle on a string bone left, I'm afraid. I'd play if I could. You used to like it. But it's hard playing with life being lived when I see it, and I do. Whereas visiting these tombs you despise on a Sunday puts me in continuum. The black paper of my birth certificate polished, ordained. Here, look! For the first time I know who my father was, that ragged little bastard I adored with the precision of a corpse. He fed me, clothed me, bought me shoes, himself a poor man. Call me his twelve-cent chicken painted till it weighed forty pounds, then plucked me and set me free. Two reasons he had. Slaughter horses to contain the wiggle of my mother, or smoke muscles to improve the curse of life's meaning. All our favourite bills are due. I'd like to have been a rich baby, fed butter and cream. Sin to admit it, for it would be eccentric of the innocent to admit their crimes. I would still like to be a rich baby. Worse to admit. I've been thinking about our future and the babies. I've decided both should be yellow. <laughs>